Right, this is the Tyneco Floor One S3 Series Wet and Dry Vacuum Floor Cleaner. This is absolutely brilliant. It's so quick, simple and easy to use. What I love about this is it has built-in AI and it talks to you and tells you what's happening with the machine and what you need to do. It tells you if it's if the water's empty or it's dirty and it needs cleaning. It's absolutely Fabulous. So as you can see, it's sat on its charging base here. And that's where you put it on to not only charge it, but to clean the machine once you've used it. It also comes with uh, two of these brush rollers and two HEPA filters. So when you've cleaned the machine, you can pop the dry, clean ones in and you're ready to go straight away. It also comes with a multifunctional cleaning brush, so you can get on get in all the nooks and crannies. And the way it works is, you have your clean water chamber here that you put hot water out of your tap and add one capful of the cleaning solution in. And then this is your dirty water chamber, and obviously all the dirt and grime gets collected in there. And then once you've cleaned your floors, you just pop it back on the station. And this button on the top here is your self-cleaning button. And you press that, and then the machine will automatically clean the roller and all the internal parts and pipes, leaving it good as new. So the other thing I like about it is it comes with an app. It comes with the Tyneco app. And once you've connected it up, it tells you everything you need to know. So it's currently telling me I've saved 0.33 litres of water and I've used it for 44 minutes. So if you click onto it, it tells you everything you need to know. So it's telling me it's got 12 minutes remaining charge time to make it 100%. And it tells me uh, what power mode I've got it in, which is auto, and what spray volume I've got it in. And it will tell me if the dirty water tanks full if the clean water tanks empty um, tells me it's normal the dirty tanks normal and it will just tell you if you need to clean it empty it fill it up etc so I told you that it talks to you so if I turn it on by pressing the power button she'll talk to me auto mode. so she tells me I'm in auto mode that is the de default mode when you first turn it on. You have a button at the top here which says Auto Max. So if you've got a really dirty floor, you know, you've spilt something on it really bad, if you just press that and put it in maximum mode, it will give you maximum suction and maximum solution. If you're just giving your floors a normal, regular clean, if you leave it in Auto Mode, how it is, it will automatically change the suction and water depending on how clean or dirty your floors are. And on the LED display, it tells you everything you need to know and what's going on. So I'm just going to go to the booklet to show you all the different icons. So you've got the water droplet at the top, which tells you it needs cleaning. You've got the percentage, which tells you how much charge you've got. You've got the Wi-Fi icon, tells you you're connected to the Wi-Fi. You've got the uh, brush roller tangle indicator to tell you that if there's anything stuck in the roller. You've got the clean water tank uh, notification and you've got the dirty water tank notification so it tells you if it's empty needs cleaning etc and then you've got the dirty monitor loop so the bar at the bottom will go up and down and tells you how dirty or clean the floors are and then you've got the mode it tells you what mode you're in and a battery level indicator it's just absolutely brilliant it just tells you everything you need to know and she talks to you um, whilst you're cleaning to tell you if there's any problems and if you need to do anything it's fabulous right so I've got a uh, clean water in the top with some solution and I'm just going to give you a demo on how it cleans the floors so just like any normal uh, vacuum you put the head on the floor tilt it back and press the power button 
and this will automatically start in automatic mode and she tells me again we're in auto mode and then it's just a case of going over the floors and as you can see as you go back and forth it puts the solution through the roller onto the floor picks up all dirt and debris and then puts the dirty water into the dirty water chamber and it dries within a few minutes it's literally instant dry so you haven't got to wait for ages for the floors to dry before you can walk on them it dries literally instantly if there was a big spillage on the floor if there was a big spillage on the floor and I wanted to uh, give it a really good deep clean I would put it in max automatic uh, max mode so I'll just show you that so I'll turn it back on press the auto max she tells me it's in max mode and you'll see that I've got more suction and it will add more solution to the floor so you know if you've spilt your cereals your food you've knocked over something on the floor this will just give your floors that really good deep clean and again it dries literally instantly you don't have to wait long at all right so let's put it to the test so uh, obviously this is a bit extreme but we've got some flour I've got some cereal I've got some sauce and I've got some honey on the floor so I'm just gonna put the uh, Tyneco uh, into max mode and show you how good it will pick up all this dirt right so let's turn the machine on auto mode. tells me it's in auto mode and I'm going to put it on max mode using this button at the front and then show you how good it is so she's told me it's in max mode so all we're going to do is just go over it and you'll see how it puts everything up look at that absolutely brilliant it's just picking it up with ease you can see the de line definition of where I've been and there's nothing left on the floor. It's just absolutely brilliant. So let's carry on. Right, so that's all the dirt gone. Obviously nobody's floor would normally be like that but that just shows you how good it is at picking up even the extreme dirt and debris that's on the floor. And now if I look at the machine, she's flashing, the green light's flashing to tell me I need to do a self-clean. So she's already told me that I need to put it on the machine and do a self-clean. So let's put it on the machine and see what she says. So let's put it on the uh, base unit and see what she says. Charging has commenced. Auto detecting whether to run self-cleaning cycle. Please begin self-cleaning cycle. So she's detected that obviously the roller and everything is dirty and I need to run a cleaning cycle. Right. Please clean dirty water tank. So she's telling me to clean the dirty water tank. So it's just a case of removing this chamber and emptying that because that's got all the dirt and debris in it. And then we just press... Please clean dirty water tank. So then we just press the self-cleaning button. So... Let's go see how much dirt is in the chamber. Right, so I'm just gonna take it apart, take the lid off. See, it's, you can see it's picked up all the rubbish and gunk that was on the floor. So it's just a case of emptying this. Let's look at all this gunk. Look at that. That was all on the floor and it's picked up all those big chunks and then it's just a case of giving it a quick rinse and putting putting it on the self clean mode right so I've given the dirty water tank a clean I'm just going to pop that back in now and then 
run the self clean by pressing this button here and she'll tell me the stages that she's going through. Start self cleaning. So she's told me she's starting it. Cleaning brush roller. So she's cleaning the brush roller at the bottom here. And she's just running the solution through all the pipes and the brush roller. Now she's cleaning the debris channel. Amazing. Auto detecting. Now she's just doing another check. Oh, now she's doing a deep clean. Absolutely fabulous. Love it. And you see the oh, dirty water tanks filling up with the dirt from the roller and all the pipes but that's how good it is amazing it shouldn't be too long and it takes a few minutes There we go, and that's all clean. So all she wants me to do now is just self cleaning cycle complete. Please clean dirty water tank and debris channel. So she just wants me to empty this water chamber, and that's it. Jobs are good and ready for the next use. Really quick, simple, and easy. Absolutely love it. You don't get dirty hands. It's fabulous. There we go. If I'd been cleaning the floors and the uh, clean water tank was empty she would tell me the water tanks empty and to fill it up same goes for the dirty water tank if that was full she would tell me to empty the dirty water tank and then if I'd been cleaning the floors and they were really dirty and the brush roller here was really dirty again she would tell me to do a self clean you just pop it on the docking station, press the self-clean button and she will give the entire unit, pipes and roller, a deep clean, leaving it good as new. So that's a quick demonstration of how to use the Tyneco Floor One S3 series. Hope you enjoyed it and if you want to know any more information, let me know. Thanks.